Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to our Faculty of Land-Based Studies Student Award celebration. My name is Ian Peake and I'm the principal of Herefordshire and Ludlow College. This afternoon's event is to celebrate the outstanding successes of our Faculty of Land-Based Studies students. This academic year has been especially challenging with the enforced college closure from the 23rd of March. But you, our award-winning students, have persevered in your learning and been extremely successful. Congratulations to all of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues, teachers, managers, support staff and college governors for your extraordinary commitment to the college and to our students. The great lengths you have gone to, to teach, encourage and motivate your students, most especially during the last three months. And your unswerving loyalty and commitment to our college, to your students and your colleagues. I would also like to thank the parents and carers of our students and others who have helped and supported them in their learning. Education is a community wide endeavour. I understand and appreciate your contribution to our students achievements. Let us not forget, however, that our focus is on our students. You have done very well to achieve these results. They will stand you in good stead for the future. Whether you intend to continue your studies with us next year, find employment or continue learning elsewhere. Congratulations to all of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to my colleague, Alison Moon, Assistant Principal. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the virtual award ceremony for Faculty of Lambay Studies. My name is Alison Moon and I am the Assistant Principal responsible for Land-Based Studies. Today, as Ian has said, we are going to celebrate the achievements of students who have studied at the Home Lacey campus. Our virtual celebration is a new departure for us. Normally, we would be gathered together to celebrate the amazing students. I would be welcome you, welcome you together and talking to you directly. Because of COVID-19, we are doing it differently. We are determined that the best students have the opportunity to be celebrated and that you have the opportunity to hear why your young people are the best there is. Some of us are at the campus and some of the teachers will be presenting from their homes. But before we start, I have to say that we are not expecting a fire alarm. However, if the alarm rings, then we will have to vacate the building and the presentation will stop. We're all crossing our fingers for an instant free evening so you can listen in the comfort of your own home. So now back to the business of the afternoon. We're here this afternoon to present the awards for the Faculty of Lambay Studies. It covers a vast area of subjects, including agriculture, animal care, equine, forestry, farrery, blacksmithing and welding. All our students are heroes and have done the best they can in these extraordinary circumstances. The students we are celebrating this afternoon will be awarded a college certificate and a glass award for the best progress student or the best overall student. The progress award is given to those students who have travelled on an incredible journey to get their treasured qualification. The best overall student will be given to outstanding students who have achieved the very best results. We will also have awards for the best participation in maths and English, specifically for our land-based students. Staff will read out the names of the successful students along with the details of their amazing achievements, indicating why they have been so brilliant. Normally, 
at this stage, I would ask the students to make some noise and show appreciation to the forgotten people in their lives. And that's you, the parents, grandparents and carers who do all those invisible things like washing, cooking, offering cash, paying for their mobile phones and clearing up after them. I'm sure you all recognise at least one or two of those things. And not forgetting all the amazing staff that work at the college and particularly my faculty staff who have been extremely supportive to the students this year. They have gone the extra mile, especially this year when we have lived through such a strange period. There have been many phone calls, Teams meetings, Zoom sessions, emails, every different type of digital communication you can think of. And here we are now doing another digital communication. The successes have been amazing. The students have engaged and found the best way to provide as much work as possible for all of today's successful students. It has paid off. I am enormously proud of all the staff at the campus and happy to be their leader. Thank you so much for making my job as pleasurable as it is. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the afternoon. I'd like to introduce you to the man who leads the teaching and the teaching staff at Home Lacey, David Lamb, who will lead us through this afternoon's celebrations. Sit back and enjoy and make some noise in your own homes. It is your young people we are celebrating. Thank you, Alison. Um, I just wanted to say a few words really on what a roller coaster of a year we've had this year. Um, we started off with our bridge closures, um, floods and uh, roads washing away and then coronavirus. It seems like nature was determined to uh, make it difficult to get to home later this year. Um, but we've made it. Here we are today. Um, through the efforts of students learning remotely, uh, learning how to do that very quickly and through our staff adapting quickly, uh, we've managed to get students through their programmes and um, with some very good successes. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you, staff and students, for the Herculean efforts that you've made to get us where we are today. I'd love to be reporting on the wonderful enrichment activities that would normally have occurred by this time of year such as our blacksmiths completing in the three counties show, our equine students who would have had their residential at Newmarket and our agric students who were due to spend their milking practicals at our partner college Walford. Um, alas, all these didn't take place, um, but we did manage to host quite a few events just before lockdown. Our farriers competed with their apprentice employers um, and uh, to, to, to their benefit uh, in March. And we managed to see some of our welding students through their endpoint assessments successfully just days before lockdown occurred. And we wish them all the best with their, their careers. So whilst it's been a year that's been compromised for many of our students in terms of uh, their practice, um, progressing their practical skills and maintaining close links with their friends, uh, we are expecting some excellent results to go along with those that we achieved last year. And I again thank you all, particularly students and staff, for their resilience and perseverance in achieving this. So very well done and I'd like to wish everybody the very best for their future, whether it's on future courses or careers in work. Uh, so now we're moving on to the awards for the afternoon and I'm going to hand over to Amy Barnett who will take us through the level one uh, achievements. Uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my level one land based group have worked so hard this year. Um, everyone deserves their recognition. My progress award this year goes to Sophie Robinson. Sophie worked so hard to achieve her level one diploma, travelling over four hours every day to get to college. She always had a great attitude and a smile. Sophie was a fantastic student to have in my class and I wish, and I wish her all the best next year for level two. Thanks. My overall outstanding student goes to Sophie Morgan. Sophie worked so hard all year and complete, completed all her work to the highest standard possible. Sophie has clear goals to achieve and would not let anything stop her from achieving the best marks possible. Sophie is a brilliant student to have in my class and I wish her all the best next year with level two animal care. Thank you. 
so that's all from me and I now hand you over to Alice Probit who will be doing level three agriculture. Thank you, Amy. And so for my level three agricultural students, the outstanding student for this year is Katie Skittery. Katie should be proud of the work she's done over the last two years. She's consistently produced written work to a distinction and merit standard. But during practical elements, she's worked with a quiet confidence in what she does. And that's only going to stand her well in the industry going forward. The Progress Award for Level 3 Agriculture. Thank you. Progress Award for Level 3 Agriculture goes to Dylan Jelps. Now, Dylan has come a long way since the beginning of the course. He came two years ago with little to no experience on farms at all. And he's gone on to prove what hard work and a desire to learn can achieve. He now has full-time employment on a local farm. He's achieved his teleander ticket and become a member of his local Young Farmers Club. He's always strived to achieve the best and he should be very proud of the journey he has made. I'm now gonna hand over... I sh thank you. I shall now hand over to David Lamb to announce the Level 2 Forestry Awards. OK, Level 2 Forestry, the outstanding award. This has been nominated by his programme leader, uh, John Hancock, who is uh, not with us today. Uh, but the outstanding student goes to Jack Cross. Uh, Jack has demonstrated himself to be a very capable student. Practically, he has a natural ability both in tree climbing and using a chainsaw. He's produced some excellent excitement work uh, in the past and has made efforts to get up to date as possible. Jack has an excellent work experience placement with Adrian Hope Tree Services and Adrian has now taken Jack on full time now he's finished college. Jack has the intelligence and practical ability to become an exceptional arborist. Well done Jack. <laughs> I now hand over to Erin Parry to read the equine results. Thanks David. Um, so for our level two horse care, outstanding student goes to Talia O'Neill. Well done, Talia. Um, this is a learner who is always consistent with the high standard of theory work she produces. Uh, her riding skills have developed greatly, along with all practical skills as well. Talia is a very polite student who gets on well with peers and tutors. She really is a pleasure to teach and we are really, really glad and looking forward to seeing her back with us and welcoming her back to college um, when she's coming on to the Level 3 Equine programme in September. Well done, Talia. <laughs> Moving on now to our Level 2 um, Progress Award uh, goes to Kai Moore. Kai has shown great commitment to his Level 2 Horse Care programme. He submits work into the highest standard is attentive in all his sessions, both theory and practical. And we look forward, as well as um, Talia, to seeing them both um, progress onto the Level 3 course in September. Well done, Kai. <laughs> OK, now we're moving on to the Level 3 Horse Management Programme. Uh, and the Outstanding Student Award um, for this course goes to Ellie Ferguson. Well done, Ellie. Ellie has consistently produced work to a high standard throughout her two years on the course. She's remained focused on her aim of pursuing a career in equine physiotherapy and has now accepted an offer from Warwickshire College to study for a degree in equine physiotherapy in September. Well done, Ellie. OK, moving on to um, our progress award. Uh, and this year, the Progress Award goes to Becca Westwood. Well done, Becca. Uh, Becca's shown great, uh, great growth in confidence over the two years and has demonstrated determined strength of character to succeed when at times things have been a bit hard. She's improved her knowledge and practical ability um, to produce work to a very high standard this year. So really good, um, Becca, and well done to you. And next, uh, we move on to Kate Stallard um, with the award for Level 2 Animal Care. OK, thank you very much, Erin. 
Um, so for this year, my outstanding student award goes to Nikki Clark. Nikki has excelled in all aspects of theory and practically consistently throughout the year. She was also our student representative and was extremely popular amongst her peers as well. Uh, we're pleased to see Nikki progress onto the level three animal management next year. Well done, Nikki. So our progress award is going to go to Skylar Holman. This year has seen Skylar return to the classroom and go into Excel in the learning environment with a conscientious and mature attitude. We are really looking forward to welcoming Skylar back onto the level three animal management next year. Well done, Skylar. OK, I'd like to hand over to Georgia Campbell for the level three animal care. Hi, so for the Progress Award, um, the Progress Award goes to Jessica Dark. Just started out as a level two student who progressed on to level three. Um, throughout her time, she has shown her initiative. She's been a huge team player and she always has worked to a high standard and has put her mind to, um, has always worked high standard in everything she puts her mind to. So well done, Jessica. For the outstanding student, it goes to Lauren Darks. So Lauren is an extremely hardworking student. N nothing is ever too much for Lauren. She puts 100% into everything and she's been a distinction student throughout. Very well done, Lauren. Now I'm gonna pass on to Erin Parry for access to Farrery. Thanks, Georgia. Okay, so for the level two access to Farrery, um, I'm really, really delighted then to give the Outstanding Student Award to Amber Shaw. Well done, Amber. Amber's been an absolute pleasure to teach um, due to her endless enthusiasm. And this enthusiasm is when she was in the class and in the forge and every tutor would say the same thing. Amber is not, if she's not in timetabled sessions, then she can always be found in the forge working to improve her taught sessions. Academically, also, Amber is very strong and capable um, and is committed to excellent work standards and really wish her every success in the future as she progresses on to uh, the apprenticeship at Home Lacey. <laughs> OK, so next for Farrier Access, the Progress Award. And this goes to Theodore Williams. Well done, Theo. So practically, Theo has developed extremely well, showing high level of commitment to his course. His forward skills have developed greatly over the academic year, and we really wish him every luck in his future studies. And again, hopefully progressing on to the apprenticeship in Farrery. He's an excellent member of the group and is a real pleasure to teach. Well done, Theo. And next we have Misha Kunkel with the Level 2 Blacksmithing Awards. Hi everyone. Um, so for the Level 2 Blacksmithing, the outstanding student is uh, Peter Wallace Ede. This year, Pete has proven to be an excellent student across the board. Not only was everything submitted on time and always to a good standard, but he always found time alongside to help let the, those less capable than himself. We will miss his quiet dedication next year, but we wish him well with his future endeavours. Uh, moving on to the progress award. <laughs> Everyone uh, is Jessica Dennis. This year has been a huge challenge for Jess, not only with getting to grips with the practical skills, but also getting back into education at the same time as being a mum. The effort she has put into every aspect of the course has paid off, although probably not to her level of standards. I really wish her the best in pursuing her dreams and going to the next level and moving on to the BA next year along with hopefully the realisation that her work really is as good as I'd say it is. Um, <laughs> um, that's all for level two. Unfortunately, Paul Ashmore, who is the tutor of the uh, level three uh, diploma in blacksmithing and metalworking, uh, couldn't make it today. So I'm also going to present his students. So 
for the outstanding student, it is Josh Ravenhill. Um, from the first year of teaching this student through to the level three, they have sh he has shown con um, consistent hard work working approach in practical and academic studies. He's always happy and with a positive outlook on life. This student's ambition to become a professional Smith is another step closer. I have observed them as he has become faster and more competent in many of the tasks set him. And without a doubt, he will be, go he will be going on to uh, be successful in his co chosen career. The progress award <laughs> goes to Rigby Barton. This student has his own has had his own fair fair share of problems this year and uh, in years past in the time that we've known him and has not had the easiest journey through college. However, he did not get give up and he has kept going through it all. The outcome has been that his determination and hard work has paid off and has shown in the work that he has gone on to produce. He has not only grown as a student, but as a young man and that he has now become. Really well done. Um, I'd like, you pass, like to pass you on back to David now with the GCSE awards. Thank you, Misha. Um, the GCSE awards um, for uh, English award goes to Lolly Franson. Um, these are the words from uh, from Kate Robinson from GCSE. Lolly always works extremely hard in her GCSE lessons and has continued to do so since lockdown started, submitting all her work online and beautifully done. She has been attempting the GCSE for a couple of years now failing the last one as she completely missed the last question, realising only at the last minute without time to do it. Lolly never let this get her down. She just got back on the horse, so to speak, for an animal care student and continues with the same infectious enthusiasm and positivity that she always has. Whoever she sits uh, by, she will help and tutor and passes her can-do attitude on. She's always the first to say, I love coming to college. She's motivated and passionate about her future working with animals. She works hard at a Sunday job at the vets in Hereford and she has been playing for all sorts of wonderful animal care, applying for all sorts of wonderful animal care jobs in Cornwall where she is moving to this year. I'm sure that this bit won't be shared publicly as I'm sure she doesn't want that broadcast. Oh, sorry, I perhaps should have read that sooner. Um, anyway, she has taken in her stride. She's a very strong young woman, uh, works hard with everything and deserves the award. Well done. OK, the Functional Skills Award. This goes to uh, Chloe Setters. So Chloe's worked very hard in all of the lessons, even though the class could be quite noisy. She's produced some very good written work and took a lot of time to make her writing good. She also produced very good presentation slides for a level one presentation. Chloe started off at entry three, but easily passed these exams. We therefore upgraded her to level one and she worked very hard to meet the standards of this qualification. She's always cheerful and pleasant in the classroom and she's always supported some of the students who were nervous about their presentations. So well done, Chloe. <laughs> we now move on to the GCSE Maths Award. Um, this award goes to Grace Gibbs. Grace has so many qualities of an outstanding student. Maths isn't Grace's favourite subject, but she has shown great determination this year to understand concepts and produce work worthy of a good grade. Her attention to detail is excellent and she has worked quietly and diligently in each lesson, always listening and participating fully. Well done, Grace. We're now moving on to the Functional Skills Maths Award. Uh, this award goes to James Kemp. James has made significant progress in maths and he's always keen to achieve as much as he can in lessons. His hard work has paid off with a successful outcome in his exam in March. Well done, James. <laughs> so we now pass on to the Endeavour Award, uh, which will be read out by Georgia Campbell. 
Hi, so the Endeavour Award um, is um, this year going to Ellie Waters. Well done, Ellie. Um, throughout the two years on the Level 3 Animal Management course, Ellie has progressed hugely. She started out having lack of confidence, struggled to talk in front of a class, and she was a very shy student. Throughout her time on the animal unit, she's always showed her initiative. High standards were always met and always did more than what was asked of her. Whether she was working on her own or in a group, nothing fazed her. She's a very hardworking student. She became confident to show other students how to health, che health check horses one to one or in a group, as this was her strong point. Without her hesitation, she was happy to offer her help. As her tutor, I am extremely impressed and proud with how far Ellie has come. She now works on our animal care unit on weekends as staff. She has also passed her entry exam for university to study marine biology in September. Very well done, Ellie. <laughs> now back to Alison. Thank you, everybody, and particularly thank you to all of you who are sat in your kitchens and living rooms and celebrating with us today at our virtual awards presentations. The presentations are now coming to a close. All that remains to say is a final congratulations to all our successful students and to wish you all the very best in whatever you are planning for your next step. I'd also like to thank a few people who've made all this possible. Our amazing administrator, Jane May, who you will all know from the campus, who makes sure everything at the campus ticks. And we've had two extra invisible people today who have been pressing all the buttons to make all this possible. So I'd like to thank David Hargest and Lorna Murphy. So without further ado, thank you ever so much for joining us today. It's been a strange and surreal experience, but I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye.